Hey everybody, it's uh, Mark again, and uh, we're working on um, my friend Nathan's clock that has the uh, a song, which is called Anniversary Song. I quit the other day because my back was bothering me. Um, I got the... Uh, the issue fixed um, the cuckoo wasn't working because the low note lip lever was stuck and so um, once I took the uh, bellow out it worked but with the bellow in it wasn't working and it's because it was bent wrong so I had I got it bent right and so now I'm going to put the um, the weights on for the uh, cuckoo and the weight on for the music. And because uh, I just got through um, making it cuckoo is the reason why you're hearing the music. Trying to get this thing situated so y'all can see it. So now we'll go ahead and make it cuckoo. It got stuck again for some reason. I still don't have the uh, the low note lift wire adjusted just right, so I need to adjust that some more. But we're getting there. I'm going to adjust the no, uh, low note lift lever, and then um, when I come back to you, I'm going to have the hands and everything on the clock and let you see it um i know he will be happy to get this clock back uh it belongs to his grandmother so i was proud to uh to get it going for him so stand by and let me fix that low note lift lever the low note lift lever is this bellow here it's the Typically, the uh, the the arm that is in between the gong and the bottom arm, which is the high note lift lever. Typically, the high note lift lever, which is on the right. Now, some clocks, the high note lift lever is in the middle of these three arms, and the uh, low note lift lever is on the bottom. But most clocks, the high note lift lever is on the right. The low note lift lever is on the left. Most clocks, the low note lift lever is the one that lifts the bird to make it bob up and down. There are some exceptions to that. But for the most part, low note lift lever is here. High note lift lever is here. High note lift lever arm is the longest and it's the one that's on the bottom so uh, i'm going to adjust the low note lift lever and uh we'll get back to you putting the hands on always typically put the hour hand at the nine o'clock position doesn't matter where it actually is and then this clock has this piece right here which um, you put on next and it's um, it's got a groove on it and that's for the minute hand and you put that on and then you put a washer on and then you put this nut on and then you um, tighten up the nut and then 
you make the clock go off and then you can loosen the nut and adjust the hand where it needs to be. Now, Herbert Her and antique clocks have a square nut and I have a video on that on how to adjust those and uh, and what to do when it's not right. So I'm just gonna put these weights back on just to find out where the hand needs to be. I don't have the weights in the pr proper position. That was the half hour. I got the, uh, I need to find the other weight. So stand by. So now let me, I'm trying to do this, holding it, I need to take it to the, my other end of the other room and use my stand, but that showed eight o'clock. So now I'm going to after the music's done playing. I'm going to uh, loosen the nut, put the um, minute hand on the hour and then put the hour hand on eight o'clock I need to put the back door on and I'm going to take it in the other room and put it on my stand to finish it so stand by here I have the clock level and I have the uh, pendulum adjusted, and I have a video on how to uh, put a clock in beat. As you can see, with me stopping it with my finger, it continues to run. So this clock is in beat. I need to put the back door on um, and let it run for a few days to make sure it's going to... Uh, work properly at least run it for one day since it's uh considered a one day clock even though modern one day clocks with the rack and snail on them they don't have the count wheel and i have enough clocks in my house to tell you that i have tested Every one of my clocks, modern one-day cuckoo clocks, do not run for 30 hours. They only run for about 20 to 22 hours. With 72-inch chains, compared to the older cuckoo clocks that have the count wheel with 72-inch chain, they will run for 30 hours. Modern Monday cuckoo clocks, if you don't wind them up at least twice a day with a 72 inch chain, they will stop on you. So, anyway, I hope y'all like this video. Um, please uh, leave me comments and may God bless each and every one of you.